Hey guys, Ethan from Microchip Technology. Today, we're going to take a look at a total dissolved solids in water or TDS measurement demo developed by our applications team that measures conductivity and temperature of our water source. This demonstration displays the capabilities of our PIC16 F17146 microcontroller on the Curiosity on a development board along with a protoclick from Microelectronica. In this video, we'll explore the implemented circuit and the integrated microcontroller peripherals used in this design. For more information about this demonstration, please visit the links in the description below. Let's quickly cover what TDS is. TDS is a key factor that determines the quality of a given water source and can be understood as the presence of inorganic salts and small amounts of organic matter in water. High levels of impurities make the solution more conductive, which can be quantified by using a conductivity probe that measures the number of ions in the solution. TDS is expressed in units of mg per unit volume of water, or as parts per million. This demo can be utilized in environments where the water quality is a driving factor, such as public utilities, food production, fish farming, and many more. Now that we've had a good introduction on what and how TDS works, let's dive right into how this demo operates and the core independent peripherals that are used. One of the ways to measure water conductivity is to use a voltage divider. In this configuration, the conductive water acts as a variable resistor and the output voltage across the variable resistor can be measured using the analog to digital converter or ADC. From the ADC's measurements, the TDS values can then be calculated. Using a voltage divider circuit to measure TDS not only provides a wide range of TDS values that can be measured, but minimal required circuitry is needed. Although this may seem like an adequate way to measure TDS, a major drawback of this voltage divider circuit is that the accuracy begins to decrease over time, resulting in more frequent system calibrations. This is caused by electrolysis, in which an electrical current is passed through a solution with the result of being buildup of mineral ions on the probes being used. This requires the probes to be cleaned or recalibrated regularly. To rectify this issue, the op-amp peripheral found on the PIC16 F17146 microcontroller will be used as a relaxation oscillator configuration. Shown on the screen is a high-level block diagram of the TDS measurement using the microcontroller. The circuitry used to create this consists of a capacitor, multiple resistors, and an op-amp. The combination of resistors and capacitors is known as an RC circuit and it was assembled on a protoclick. A relaxation oscillator is a nonlinear electronic oscillator circuit that can generate repetitive non sinusoidal signals such as square, rectangular, or triangular waves. To generate them, initially, the op amp's inputs are in balance. To correct the imbalance, the op amp pushes or pulls the output in one direction. As this occurs, the output shifts and the op amp must start moving in the opposite direction to try and counter this change. The output begins to oscillate in this state. The relaxation oscillator improves the long-term stability of TDS meter by significantly reducing the amount of corrosion built up on the probe. The TDS probe is connected as an input to the op amp and acts as a variable resistance. The input value of the capacitor determines how quickly the oscillator oscillates. By varying this capacitor value, the frequency range can be modified. In the implemented relaxation oscillator circuit, the capacitor was set to 0.1 microfarads to measure TDS values between 0 and 2000 mg per liter. This will generate pulses with a frequency range between 1 Hz and 40 kHz for a TDS range of 0 to 2000 mg per liter. The time period of the pulses that are generated by the op amp can be determined by the equation T equals 0.69 times R1 times C1. Alongside the TDS values being read, an ADC is used to measure the temperature of the water. The ADC measures the output from a negative temperature coefficient temperature sensor, or NTC for short. The CCP allows for the measurement and control of different events, as well as to generate PWM signals. The CCP can operate in one of the following three modes. In capture mode, when a user-defined event is detected, the 16-bit period register, CCPRX, captures and stores the value in the 16-bit odd number TMRX register. These events can be configured to occur either on a rising edge or falling edge of the signal. In compare mode, the 16-bit value of the CCPRX register is constantly compared against the 16-bit value of the odd number TMRX register until a match occurs. Once the match occurs, a user-defined event is triggered based on the configuration of the mode control bits. Some possible events include triggering an ADC read or toggling a pin. 
In PWM mode, an even numbered timer module, starting with timer 2, can be used to produce a PWM output signal on the CCP X pins. The pulses generated by the op amp will be captured by the CCP peripheral. The CCP is configured to capture every fourth rising edge using timer 1 as its clock. The CCP captures the op amp output, which can be then used to calculate the pulse time period, which can be converted into TDS values. The onboard USAR peripheral was set up in 9600 baud to display the TDS values and the temperature of water to a terminal window. To calculate TDS, the frequency generated by the op amp module and the temperature are measured continuously. Once every one second, the TDS and temperature values are displayed to the terminal window. When the TDS probe is removed, a message, probe disconnect, appears on the terminal window. Any TDS value over a defined window results in a message, TDS range error. That's all. For more information on this application, please remember to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.